Hello. Welcome to today's scripture reading. Today's scripture reading um, is 1 Samuel chapter 11, and it's Saturday the 2nd of May. I told you May was here. Remember what had happened um, before the Amorites had been oppressing the Gadites and the Reubenites. And in verse 1 we read, About a month later, Nahash the Ammonite went up and besieged Jabesh Gilgad. And all the men of Jabesh said to Nahash, Make a treaty with us and we will serve you. But Nahash the Ammonite said to them, On this condition I will make a treaty with you, namely that I gouge out everyone's right eye and thus put a disgrace on all Israel. The elders of Jabesh said to him, Give us seven days respite that we may send messengers throughout all the territory of Israel. If there is no one to save us, we will give ourselves up to you. When the messengers came to Gibeah of Saul, they reported the matter in the hearing of the people, and all the people wept aloud. Now Saul was coming from the field behind the oxen, and Saul said, What is the matter with the people that they are weeping so? They told him the message from the inhabitants of, of Jabesh. And the Spirit of the Lord came upon Saul in power when he heard these words. His anger was greatly kindled. He took a yoke, and, yoke of oxen and cut them into pieces and sent them throughout the territory of Israel by messengers, saying, Whoever does not come out after Saul and Samuel, so shall this be done to his oxen. Then the dread of the Lord fell on the people, and they came out as one. When he mustered them at Bezek, those from Israel numbered 300,000, and those from Judah 70,000. Ten tribes in Israel, two tribes in Judah. Some of you know that, some of you don't, but that's why you sometimes hear this Israel and sometimes Judah. And occasionally, um, Israel can include Judah. Oh, there, here comes the sun really brightly. Um, it's just depending on, on what part, but in this sense, the ten tribes of Israel are the northern tribes, the ones that exclude um, Judah and Benjamin um, down in the south. So anyway, um, there were 370,000 men. They said to the messengers who had, who had come, Thus shall you say to the inhabitants of Jabesh Gilead, Tomorrow by the time is hot, the sun is hot, you shall have your deliverance. When the messengers came and told the inhabitants of Jabesh, they rejoiced. So the inhabitants of Jabesh said, Tomorrow we'll give ourselves up to you, and you may do whatever seems good to you. The next day they saw put the people into three companies. At, mo at the morning watch they came into the camp and cut down the Ammonites until the heat of the day, and those who survived were scattered so that no two were left together. The people said to Samuel, Who is that? Shall Saul reign over us? Give them to us, that we may put them to death. Sorry. The people said to Samuel, Who is it that said, Shall Saul reign over us? Give them to us, shall we make, so we may put them to death. But Saul, went, Saul said to them, No one shall be put to death this day, for the Lord has brought deliverance to Israel. Samuel said to the people, Come, let us go to Gilgal, and there renew the kingship. So all the people went to Gilgal, and they made Saul king before the Lord in Gilgal. They sacrificed their offerings of well-being before the Lord, and there Saul and all of the Israelites rejoiced glad greatly. As we see this chapter, um, we see this great battle of the Ammonites who depressed God's people, who wanted to... Um, disgrace them and defile them by gouging out their eyes after enslaving them and um, he was dealt with and his his men the Ammonite men were dealt with by um, Saul Saul really put the fear of God people say that don't they the fear of God into into Israel and um, with his message of the oxen and when he came down he washed over the Ammonites and killed them all in battle and saved the people they rejoiced they called him to their kingship. Samuel did what God had said, which was to um, anoint Saul as king, even though Saul wasn't the king God wanted. And that's where the chapter ends. We'll go on and we'll see more of this story soon. But let's pray. Father God, I want to thank you for this day. Thank you for the sun coming out again. Thank you for um, the chance to sit and be and to, to read your word. Thank you for this scripture, Lord. As we see this this um, matter of um, Saul becoming king, you gave the people what they asked for, but you did say you wouldn't deliver them in times. And at this time, Saul delivered them, but he's not always going to do that in the in the story. And he is going to treat them the way you said, Lord, your word is right and you are true. And 
I do pray you bless us and keep us this day. Amen. Amen. May God bless you on this Saturday.